I hate making cold calls, but I've probably made over $100,000 in revenue making cold calls. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to this video. My name is Jack Rosenthal. I'm a 19, oh, sorry, just turned 20 year old social media marketer. I'm a student at Babson College, and I run a six figure, whatever you want to call it, social media marketing agency. So in this video, I'm going to tell you guys my number one method, cold calling, and a few tips on how you guys can use cold calling for your own social media marketing agencies. Number one is quantity. Way over everything, over quality, over who you're actually calling, over what you're saying over the phone is just the total quantity of people you're cold calling. The more people you call, the more meetings you're going to get, and the more appointments you're going to close. Just to walk you guys through some some of my personal numbers, um, usually I would say it takes around a thousand cold calls, five hundred to a thousand to get one closed client. Um, let's assume on the more conservative end, it takes a thousand. So a thousand cold calls. Usually every fifty cold calls or so, you get a meeting. Let's say that's fifteen meetings, and then maybe one or two of those will turn into a client. Um, and then a client for me, just because these are cold calls, these are people that they haven't ever heard of you before. Let's assume on the low end that those are $300 per month each times two. So that's 600 a month. And let's assume the client lasts for, I don't know, three months. Bam, you can make easily $1,800 in new revenue for your agency, just making a thousand cold calls a month, which I believe 50 cold calls a day times 30 days is about 50 cold calls every single day or a little bit less than that. So anyway, that's the first method, quantity over quality. Number two, what are you actually saying over the phone? So this is very important. Um, you get better at it over time, no doubt. I've made thousands, probably 10,000 cold calls at this point, maybe more. And I could tell you that just inherently you get better over time. You, your brain naturally responds to what's working, what's not working. So I cold call up someone and I'm talking for too long in the beginning without asking them a question. I realize, hey, wait a minute, that's not working. I'm going to stop doing that strategy, just for example. But anyway, based on all these thousands of cold calls, what exactly should you do? Um, what you should do is pretty much cold call the person. Let's say I'm doing social media management. Hey, this is Jack. Uh, is this Bill? Yeah, this is Bill. Hey, Bill, this is Jack. I'm actually calling from New York. Wait for them to say something. That's one of the biggest things. You got to wait for them to recognize your presence. Okay. Hey, Jack. Hey, how's it going? Good. Um, so anyway, the reason for the call, get right down to it. Hey, I run a social media marketing agency based in New York. We specialize in helping a bunch of realtors, luxury agents grow their social media pages. Wanted to see if you were interested in growing your social media presence. Super simple. Get right to the point. Figure out, tell them exactly who you are, why you're calling, and what you're trying to get them interested in. Now, their response after this question will tell you basically everything you need to know about the call. Um, say out of 50... 40, uh, well, if you call up 50 people, only about seven to 10 will answer the phone. Of those seven to 10, nine might just say, hey, I'm not interested. And then one might be say, hey, you know, growing my social media presence is something I've thought about, but I never got around to it. Something like that, which is not a total no. As long as they don't give you a total no, that's, that shows interest to me. So anyway, that's it. That's an easy cold call script you guys can use and you guys can take and implement for your own marketing and you can kind of tailor it to what exact services you're selling or who exactly you're selling them to. So that's the cold, uh, tip number two, what exactly you should say over the phone. And then tip number three is how to follow up. So uh, there's a quote that says that 95% of sales are closed by the 5% of salespeople that follow up. And I can see there's a lot of truth to that. Um, oftentimes when you call someone, they're not interested in buying that second, but if you stay, if you follow up with them long enough, usually out of say 10 people that say, Hey, not right now in a year from now, one might say, Hey, you know, now is the right time. So not everybody you follow up with is going to close, but it can't hurt to follow up with them. So how do you follow up? I usually try and get their, everyone's email at a minimum after I finish the cold call and, um, and let's say that you have a meeting with them and they say they're not interested. I would say once a year, you should just follow up with them and just say, hey, I'd like to hop on a call just to check in to see where things are with your social media for, for me, for example, or whatever service your agency is selling. So anyway, goes, those are my three tips. Um, as always, if you guys want my free training, sign up for it in the description below. I would really appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel just so I can continue to make and it motivates me to make more videos like this one. Thanks so much and hope you guys have a great day.